The untimely death of any celebrity is heartbreaking, but the deaths of child performers seem all the more devastating because of their young age. Join Facts First as we explore child actors who died young way before their time. River Phoenix River Phoenix, Joaquin's late sibling, became a famous child actor after making his first major cinematic appearance in Stand By Me. Thanks to the success of that movie, River was able to land roles in later films, including Running on Empty and My Own Private Idaho, for which he received an Oscar nomination. Although he's more recognized for his acting roles, he also sang and played the guitar for the band Aleka's Attic, which he co-founded with his sister Rain. At the time, it appeared he was destined for Hollywood stardom. Sadly, River's drug use skyrocketed during this time and on October 31st, 1993, he died of a drug-related heart attack at age 23. Judith Barcy the sad events surrounding Judith Barcy are deeply distressing. Judith was already making cameos at a young age in advertisements and TV shows. She went on to star in such films as All Dogs Go to Heaven, All Dogs Must Die, and Jaws the Revenge. Although she had a prosperous acting career as a child, her family life was in constant upheaval. Her father was an alcoholic abuser who became paranoid and resentful of his daughter's success. Judith and her mother, Maria, made numerous attempts to escape but were always dragged back in. In 1988, Judith Barcy, a 10-year-old child celebrity lost her life at the hands of her father. The young star and her mother were murdered in their garage and set on fire by their father, who then shot himself. Billy Laughlin Billy Laughlin was one of the young actors from the 1940s who participated in the Our Gang series and later died under sad circumstances. He played the role of Froggy, and he hardly ever appeared in any other projects. Billy, a newspaper carrier, was only 16 in 1948 when he was struck and killed by a truck while delivering newspapers. Heather O'Rourke Heather O'Rourke was a child actor whose career was launched by her performance in the horror film Poltergeist and who went on to star in both of its sequels. In the first film, O'Rourke, who had an ethereal air about her, played Carol Ann Freeling, the youngest daughter of a family whose home is haunted by a ghost. Poltergeist 3 was the last movie O'Rourke completed as she was incorrectly diagnosed with Crohn's disease by doctors a few months before production began. This incorrect diagnosis was not realized until it was too late. She was taken to the hospital after after she suddenly became unwell on January 31st, 1988. The LA Times reports that an intestinal obstruction was discovered after being ignored for some time. A surgical attempt to remove the obstruction resulted in septic shock and she went into cardiac arrest. Tragically, she passed away in the process at age 12. Josh Ryan Evans Josh Ryan Evans got his start in the acting industry after appearing in a few commercials. Soap opera producers saw potential in him and placed him as Timmy in the series Passions. Evans, who played a young boy, was actually 17 when filming began. He was affected by achondroplasia, a form of dwarfism that's extremely uncommon. Because of his illness, he looked like a youngster, which presented apparent challenges. Josh Ryan Evans, who had suffered from illness his entire life, passed away in 2002 at age 20 due to complications arising from from a congenital cardiac disease. Sammy Kane Craft a car crash death is a fate no one wants. However, the young star of the remade version of Bad News Bears from 2012 was met with this unfortunate end. The 20-year-old was driving in her car when her automobile was rear-ended by a semi-truck and then hit by another vehicle. Tara Correa McMullen Tara Correa McMullen played a gang-involved youngster on the TV drama Judging Amy, and her character's untimely death ended her run on the show. Tragically, gang violence in Inglewood, California, claimed the life of this promising youngster at age 16. Even though one of the detectives on the case maintained she didn't know the shooters, rumors circulated that she was seeing an older gang member. Madison Wright Morris as a young actress, Madison Wright Morris made quite an impression. She began her career as an actress in commercials after being discovered as a young model. As a result, she was cast in several films, including the Oscar-winning Grace Under Fire. Madison suffered from chronic ailments and heart issues her entire life. She even had a heart transplant when she was 15. Sadly, she passed away suddenly from a heart attack when she was just 21. Cameron Boyce Cameron Boyce was an actor and dancer, best recognized for his role as Luke Ross on Jesse and Cruella DeVille's adolescent son in the first two Descendants films and in the upcoming third film in the franchise. He co-starred with Adam Sandler in Grown Ups and Grown Ups 2, appeared in the films Eagle Eye and Mirrors, and was only recently revealed as a cast member of the HBO series Mrs. Fletcher. Cameron died on July 6, 2019 from a seizure while he slept. The actor's persistent medical issue was the root cause of the seizure for which he was receiving treatment. He was 20. Nikita Pearl Waligua 
when Nikita Pearl Waligwa, who played Gloria in Disney's Queen of Katwe, lost her fight with a brain tumor on February 15, 2020, the entertainment world lost a talented actress. At the time, she was only 15. On social media, her co-star in Queen of Katwe, Lupita Nyong'o, paid tribute to the young actress, calling her a sweetheart to many and a kind, warm, bright girl. Rob Knox Rob Knox was a typical English kid who worked hard in school. He started getting bit parts in English TV shows when he was 11. His breakthrough came in 2009 when he was cast as Marcus Belby in the blockbuster Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Knox's role in the next Harry Potter film was already set in stone before his terrible death at age 18 while attempting to defend his brother from an assailant with a knife. Michael Cuccioni Michael Cuccioni is best remembered for his lead role in the American show Together. Cuccioni suffered breathing problems that stemmed from his childhood battle with Hodgkin's disease, which he was diagnosed with when he was nine. His treatment included chemotherapy and a bone marrow transplant. Sadly, he was involved in a car crash and could not fully recover, eventually passing away from respiratory failure. He was 16. Matthew Garber London-born actor Matthew Garber played Michael Banks in the groundbreaking 1964 film Mary Poppins. After that, he didn't appear in many more movies because his life was suddenly cut short. Four months after he contracted hepatitis in 1976, he wasn't able to treat it, and the condition spread to his pancreas, eventually killing him. He died at age 21. Scotty Beckett Scotty Beckett joined Carl Switzer as a kid actor who participated in the Our Gang TV series. After the series ended, Scotty's life was just as challenging as Switzer's. A few other roles came his way, but during that time, he began to battle alcohol and drug addictions. He had several run-ins with the law, and in 1968, his body was discovered severely beaten in his apartment. While the exact circumstances of Scotty's death remain a mystery, it's widely believed he succumbed to his injuries and maybe an overdose of barbiturates. Norman Chaney Acting as Chubby on the hit TV show Our Gang brought him widespread fame. After being treated for a glandular issue that led him to gain weight, he developed myocarditis and died at age 21 in 1936. He was over 300 pounds at the time of his diagnosis and barely 4 feet 7 inches tall. As a result of the treatment, he shed nearly 200 pounds quite quickly. On the day he passed away, he weighed 110 pounds. Brittany Murphy even at the tender age of four, Brittany Murphy's parents began enrolling her in dancing and singing classes in the hopes she would pursue a career in the performing arts. Eventually, this led to a slew of cameo appearances in various shows and commercials. During her adolescence, she discovered fame through movies like Clueless and 8 Mile. She went on to star in several more films before her untimely death in her bathtub at age 32. The medical examiner concluded that cardiac arrest was the cause of her death. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of these child actors do you miss the most? Let us know in the comments section below.